kindness. Who needs it? Well, let's have a look in the mirror. Looks like uh, you need it and I need it. In fact, we live in a broken, bleeding world, and if you reach out 18 inches, you might touch somebody that really needs kindness. But where in the world are we going to find the agents for kindness? Well, I can't make a decision for you, and you can't make one for me, but individually we can decide that we will be a part of the community around the world, millions of people. It'll be costly, though. It'll cost a lot more than money. It'll cost time that you hadn't anticipated and a lot of energy, and it'll actually cost you yourself as you engage to be kind. There are people who have made it their lifestyle, the passion of their life to give kindness every single day. You and I can be a part of that kind of individual to say, yes, that's going to be the mission of my life. Kindness breeds kindness. I'm up here because of my friend Gary Dryley. He put my slides together. And when kindness breeds kindness, you never know what's going to happen. You enter into the friends and the, their interests, and they enter into yours. The family is the primary unit to share and spread kindness as it's passed on to the children, the grandchildren, the great-grandchildren. It passes on through society where you take time to go across the street. You will go to the fence and you listen. You share what you can share and they share with you. And in that way, our neighborhoods take on a whole new meaning. Daryl Davis was sharing a drink after a rhythm and blues concert. And the man said, I've never had a drink with a black man before. And he wondered what in the world is wrong. I've had thousands of drinks with other white people. And then he said uh, he was uh, surprised that Daryl knew how to play the rhythm and blues. He thought maybe he learned it from Jerry D. Lewis. And he said, no, no, we taught Jerry D. Lewis how to do that. So he decided he would embrace his new friend, who he discovered was from the Ku Klux Klan, with kindness. And he would learn all that he could learn. They were traveling together one day in the pickup truck, and the guy said, you know, you have that violent gene in you. You're black. And the guy looked and said, I've never had a violent moment. And he said, oh, but you know what? You have the serial killer gene in you. You're white. Name me one black serial killer. And the guy saw how stupid it was. <laughs> and he decided that he would give his robe to Daryl. And before it was over, there were 200 robes that had been given to him. Kindness had changed hatred into friendship. Kindness can even change a nation. He was a 16-year-old. He was captured by pirates. He was taken to Ireland, sold as a slave. He was assigned to take care of sheep out in the wilderness, alone as a teenager, and praying and saying, God, help me. And he had a vision of a ship, and he went down to the shore, and they allowed him to board. And three days later, they ran aground, and they were on French coast. He took up residence at a monastery there in the monastery. He learned how to be a priest and was actually promoted to be a bishop. The Pope assigned him to be the Bishop of Ireland, and he went back to the people that had abused him and gave forgiveness, and he and his troop of missionaries would set up little villages in the proximity of the clan leaders, and one by one, clan leaders left their religion of superstition and fear and embraced a Christ who gave forgiveness and love with patience and long suffering and engaged to share a way of life that was new and different to all of them. Kindness is expressed in more than just simple gestures. Yes, it's a handshake, it's a smile, it's a paying it forward, it's a fist bump, but it's a whole lot more than that. Kindness comes from a heart of love. And when you see love in action, you're able to engage to receive something that is a treasured gift, and you're able to give one in return. We have the privilege of living lives of kindness, but we don't do it alone. There's one who has given his life that we may have life, and he will help guide us as we embrace our, break, our broken and bleeding world 
with his love and grace.